don't know who that person is, but this is what God is saying. Your destiny is in the United Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. Just help them. It may not be easy, but please just manage them. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. I, I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking by the prophetic. How you will get there, you may not know. But I call upon the God of Jeshurun. Since he has spoken, I place grace upon your life and I move you by prophecy. Locate destiny, locate destiny, locate destiny right now. Listen, listen. I use this prophetic word as a point of contact. Anyone who is currently in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny, I relocate you to your place of destiny. I relocate you to your place of destiny. I'm saying it again. There may be a man of God. The reason why you are not succeeding is you are not in the place assigned. I relocate you to your place assigned. There is a location for every mantle. Every covenant that is not of God. I like you to shout this after me. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Every covenant tying my life, tying my family by the blood. It is broken now. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, it is broken. Thus far have you come, no further shall you go. In the name of Jesus, broken by the blood of the eternal covenant, every negative covenant, covenants of disfavor, covenants of unfruitfulness, covenants of retrogression, it is broken. Someone pray. Open your mouth and pray in one minute. Spirits of ancestry, demonic manifestations in dreams. In Jesus' name, Moses said, if your presence will not go with us, hear me, if your presence will not go with us, don't say I'm a preacher, you are entering a land where witchcraft has been there for a long time and the only thing you came to give them is just stories. You are joking. See, with all due respect, there are many missionaries that traveled to regions, they just carried Bibles and carried malaria drugs without power. As soon as they got there, some of them did not even wake up the next day because we are dealing with spirits. It takes more than welfare to transform people. We are talking of people who have been hijacked and kept as slaves under the bondage of Satan. And you know in the body of Christ there is a lot of gyration. We talk so much. You will, the, the amount of power that sometimes those I desire the power of the Holy Spirit sincerely. That's what drove me to Reinhard Bonke's crusade. Even after my encounter with God, I said, Lord, that evangelistic power that grants a man grace to come to Africa from Germany and sweep across Africa, that grace, when it landed, I said, that's right. Let me submit to you, hear me? With all due respect, if I speak at this level and by the grace of God, I don't think I'm speaking in pride. We don't have everything, but there are some things we have. Let me counsel my generation. Please obtain grace from God to go back to the secret place. Our noise without power is too much. We are only going to embarrass ourselves. This is not how we started. I believe that there is a generation that is rising. They are not yet known. There are people hiding in the secret place and building capacity. Men who will be like gods. Men who will not talk about power. They will demonstrate the reality of the power of the Holy Spirit. You will see healings like never before. 
you will see resurrections like never before power that will win a whole nation in one day Hallelujah. Hear me. I'm sensing that the direction God is moving us tonight. There are people God is isolating. I'm hearing the word chosen. Like you have been selected among the crowd. In many, some of you in your family, out of 10 people, I'm hearing that word chosen. Bring them out. Chosen. It's like there is a mantle that is selecting people for assignments. Strategic prophetic assignments. Bring them out, please. Chosen. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. Chosen. Chosen predestined chosen oh you have been chosen you may not look like it but there is a, a grace upon you bring them out i'm saying it again you may not look like it but you have been chosen that mantle is looking for you that mantle is looking for you, male and female. Apostle, I may not be educated. You are still chosen in the name of Jesus Christ. Chosen. Bring them out. Chosen by the Spirit of God, chosen by the Spirit of grace, chosen. He told Jeremiah, do not say I am a child, but everywhere I shall send you to, you shall go. And to whoever I shall instruct you, you will say that which I have asked you to say. I'm declaring by the Spirit, that mantle is still looking for people. You are chosen, you are chosen, chosen by the Spirit of God. Out of your family members, out of different people, you may not look like it, but the grace is still on you. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit whatever represents shame reproach and stagnation after this miracle service you will see them no more can I declare favor upon your life in the name of Jesus I call upon Ebenezer the helper of men the one who can open doors granting you unusual kindness from men unusual access and unusual acceptance may that grace come upon you now yes. hear me you are a man of god here i release grace upon you go back and do ministry at another level of impact you are a businessman here i prophesy upon your business provided what you are doing is with integrity and is towards the building of men i declare prosperity upon it in the name of jesus i pray for every home here any demonic spirit that is orchestrating to scatter any home here and cause troubles we cause it right now in jesus name for someone my prophetic word for you for the month of april is good news good news i say it again good news good news sounds sounds of joy good news in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare where you have been weary and discouraged may the lord console you with manifold testimonies everything that has fought your prayer life let it give up on you now 
everything that has fought your word study life let it give up on you now everything that has fought your passion for the house of God let it give up on you now koinonia let me pray over your finances I bless you with increase go and prosper go and experience increase I prophesy acceleration go forward go forward go forward my God will keep you from trouble and my God will keep you from troublemakers in the name of Jesus I place a mark of honor upon your life wherever you go to from tonight I pray that seasons of honor be scheduled towards you you shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord the spirit of excellence is at work in you go and excel go and excel your children are blessed your spouse blessed your family members blessed your ministry blessed the works of your hands blessed in the name of Jesus Christ I release that grace now in the name of Jesus bring them the mantle of a restorer no matter where you are under the influence of this anointing please bring them very quickly let's save time the mantle of a restorer you came to church and you did not know that destiny brought you here because there is there is an assignment that is connected to you and that fire that grace go and restore go and restore he said they are taken for a prey and none said restore please help the ushers their hands may be full if there's any anyone on there the anointing close to you you don't have to wait for the ushers just help them so that we bring them in front very quickly the mantle of the restorer is falling on someone you may be a man of God you may be a prophet I don't know why God is starting with an impartation but again I release that grace I release that grace in the name of Jesus Christ go and restore there are destinies at the mercy of your grace go and restore go and restore go and restore some of you it may be your loved ones some of you it may be the people in your company don't allow witchcraft to keep destroying people whereas God has mandated that you will rise I decree and declare once again may that grace locate you the mantle of a restorer the mantle of a restorer you may be a man of God and you came here God brought you here to lift you in the name of Jesus Christ obtain that grace power from heaven not just power in ministry power in business any dimension of result takes power apostle why are people not coming to my store what do you think brings them what do you think brought the animals to the ark of noah a suggestion an announcement before we get into the the doctrinal pillars this, this is just our pastor conference version oh after that we'll continue the message please pray in the spirit in one minute lord power upon my life genuine power upon my life someone pray genuine power the fire of the holy ghost outside pray all the overflows pray power upon my life ministry with results genuine results business with results genuine results leadership with results genuine results the capacity to provide solutions beyond the realm of intellect
Hallelujah. 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 Do you know, no matter how, no matter how medically conscious you are, there are many people who carry all kinds of sicknesses and diseases and do not even know and then some of them are not a medical situation so you go and use your machines to do all your diagnosis and it shows that you are perfectly fine yet the patient is telling you i know that there is something wrong we are going to pray one more time before i begin to pray for the sick i don't know about you but the fullness of my days i will spend and no devil of darkness I don't care whether they say it's hereditary. It came from your father, your mother. Open your mouth and cast it out of your life. Ladies, pray. Gentlemen, pray. No cancer. No prostrate. Open your mouth and pray. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. It will not come not by age, not because you are giving birth no reject it in the name of jesus health is my portion in the name of jesus health is my portion the fullness of my days i fulfill Hallelujah. 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 Spirit of the living God, reveal Jesus to us. Come to us tonight with wisdom. Come to us tonight with power. Come to us tonight with grace. Come to us tonight with direction. Let Jesus be revealed in and through our lives. We vow to give God the glory for the many things he has done, the things he is doing, and the many he will yet do, even tonight. To you be all the glory. For in Jesus, much less name we pray for in jesus much less name we pray amen and amen god bless you please be seated you see as we sojourn in life as we sojourn in life i have taught you and i will teach you again and again the forces that are at work in your life, negatively or positively, that is what controls the outcomes that are in your life. If you carry, for instance, the force of favor, imagine the kinds of physical things that will happen to you. And then if you carry this kind of wicked forces of disfavor, imagine what happens to you. It is not the physical occurrences. They are only responding to something in the realm of the spirit that is upon you or around you negatively or positively hallelujah negatively or positively I'm saying it again bad luck that spirit that has followed anyone here and is following anyone online there are even people abroad you may think it's supposed to be an edge and an advantage but these same forces have followed them and rubbish their life and their dignity of living in the name of jesus the son of the living god be set free now be set free now be set free now Hallelujah. Be set free now. The Please be seated. So these are the five essentials. Five essentials. Five essentials. Help two people that will start running now. I just saw this in a vision. Embrata Bakarotos Kodobra Eteka Paratos 
Let there be an ignition upon your spirit man. Let there be an ignition upon your spirit man in the name of Jesus Christ. Shake parakos katebrende gebarumi. Let me do a one minute recap again. For any call, for any mandate, and any commission from God to find expression, essential number one, you must understand the message and the mandate. A capture and a representation of your contribution. Number two, You must understand the strategy given to you by God for execution, your pattern. Number three, you must trust God for grace to build a platform, a structure that gives you visibility for the sake of expression. Number four, you must trust God to understand the dynamics that is responsible for accessing resources, human and material resources. And number five, you must stay until something from heaven lands on your life. The backing from heaven. But the Bible tells us that by your stripes we have been healed. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Every spirit of infirmity that is back of any disease, any sickness, I command you, leave God's people now. I command you leave God's people now. I command you leave God's people now. I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus there is someone God is healing you cough out blood you cough out and you find out that you are spitting blood. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is touching you. Every blood condition here represented be healed in Jesus name. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. HIV, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hepatitis, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Leukemia, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree and declare anyone who has any spine problem, I command the power of God touches you right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Bone conditions, you could not work or you could not work well, because of a problem with your bones, the life and the power of Jesus touches you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone severe pain. You have very, very severe pain at the back of your neck. Very severe pain. The power of God is touching you right now. Bringing you supernatural perfection in the name of Jesus. Every eye condition here be healed in Jesus' name. Anybody who could not walk in the name of Jesus, I declare that strength comes to your limbs to begin to walk now. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Any part of your body you could not move, I declare begin to move it now. Liberty of expression comes for you, begin to move it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, come out of that situation now. And finally, let me declare the grace that makes for honor upon you. To be honored means to be perceived as touching your true worth and to be rewarded to match that level. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren, but it was not always so. He called him Jabez because the mother bore him in sorrow. Are we together? But Jabez got to a point where he was angry and took destiny by himself and said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me, that and enlarge my coast, and that it shall be well with me. And the Lord heard him. I decree and declare upon your life, may the grace for honor rest upon you. May the grace for honor rest upon you. May the grace for honor rest upon you. The Lord's side is the side of power. It says, Ah, Lord God, thou hast made the heavens and the earth by thy great power. 
thou has made the heavens and the earth by thy great power thou has made the heavens and the earth by thy great power if god needed power to make the heavens and the earth it would take power to make anything in your life including the future that you desire our lord god he says thou has made the heavens and the earth by thy great power my apologies jeremiah 32 and you find 16 17 17 our lord god behold you have made the heavens and the earth by thy great power please write this scripture down and don't forget it i can tell you graces and how they came and when they came your destiny must know what grace has arrived you can't keep acting powerless and wondering why increase is not coming he said right from the days of john and up until now the kingdom suffered violence it takes more than eloquence more than oratory you need power power against power above power that compels compliance you hear me it takes power to see it takes power to hear and then it takes power to speak it takes power to compel people to leave their homes and their nations to come and hear you you must be joking just to believe it, it takes more than value my dear people no for people to ignore tribal sentiments ignore all kinds of interracial sentiments and stay to place a demand on the grace upon your life it takes power i know you are a prophet but the missing link is power i know there is an apostolic call evolving but the missing link is power i know you are a ceo i do not doubt your wisdom but there is power your speaking is like a lecture there is no power listen hear me when i say power i don't just mean falling down and shouting power is the capacity to bring evidence to your speakings the ability to bring solutions a protection upon yourself and upon your children no power no enchantment no charm will walk over my life in the name of jesus i declare that i am on the lord's side oh they shall gather but that their gathering is not of god there is a mysterious force that will scatter them declare prayer covering over your children over your ministry i will not be the victim of the conclusion of the wickedness of men immune by the jealousy and the preserving power of elohim someone pray I have no covenant with death. I have no covenant with destruction. I have no covenant with necromancy and invocation of dark powers, activities of familiar spirits. Hallelujah. 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 So hear me, please. You see, what makes a chef a chef is not just the ingredients is the combination you can be given the same ingredient that a chef uses and you cook something that you are not even but that that guy has mastered the art of combining it and it takes training and it takes time i counsel again my precious dear generation let us manage premature manifestations we are saying and doing many things that are clearly bigger than our level of grace we need to obtain grace and stay and come out again with power refreshed power to demonstrate the validity of the kingdom are we together when god started with us there were certain things we knew that they were beyond the limit of the power available at that time the Bible says to minister according to the measure of grace you want to speak over people's lives and shift spiritual climate can I tell you you know when some of you here are pilots 
and there's what they call flight hours to determine whether a pilot before he becomes um, before he becomes what's what's the highest position now? a captain you don't become a captain just because you graduated from flight school no you must have flight hours in fact for others they have to travel to other nations and fly using their weather and have certain levels of experience before you now move to become a captain when they say someone is a captain and you are flying a plane when he sees certain things whether a a, a a change in atmospheric conditions he's already used to it he knows what to do with that plane the passengers are safe because they know he's there it is a risk for certain people to fly to certain altitudes or under certain kinds of climatic conditions i stretch my hands right now the anointing that releases the grace upon your name receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now let favor follow you in the morning favor in the afternoon favor in the night favor i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ I'm hearing a prophetic word and God is speaking to someone. I would not say things like that except God to told me. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. 